Hey there, fellow handymen. Have you ever wondered how you can protect yourself, your business, and your clients from unexpected mishaps while you're out there fixing, building, and making magic happen? Well, you're in for a treat, because today we're diving into the world of how to get insurance for handymen in the United States. Yep, you heard it right, insurance for handymen. Step 1. Understanding the need for handyman insurance. Alright, let's start with the basics. Whether you're nailing down a new deck, patching up some drywall, or tackling pesky plumbing issues, accidents can happen, like spilling paint on your client's beloved antique dresser. So, what's the solution? Handyman insurance. It's like a superhero cape for your business, customizable to your unique needs. Step 2. Identifying who needs handyman insurance. Now, if you find yourself doing tasks like carpentry, ceiling fan installation, or even home security setup, it's time to give serious thought to handyman insurance. I mean, who wants to risk a wrench in their wallet over a minor mishap? Step 3. Unveiling the coverage, the handyman's bop. You're probably wondering, what does this insurance even cover? Well, grab your coffee, we're about to break it down. Meet the business owner's policy, or BOP for short. It bundles three essential coverage types to keep you and your business secure. Business liability insurance, this is your superhero shield against property damage and accidental injuries caused to others. You accidentally put a hole in the wall while moving furniture, your liability insurance swoops in to save the day. Commercial property insurance, this one's like a safety net for your gear and workspace. If your tools or office equipment suffer damage due to covered incidents like fire or tornadoes, commercial property insurance has your back. Business interruption insurance, imagine you need to temporarily shut down shop due to a covered problem, business interruption insurance steps in and covers your lost income. It's like having a business-savvy sidekick. Step 4. Customizing your shield, additional coverage. But wait, there's more. Just like customizing your toolbox, you can customize your insurance. Talk to your insurance agent about these extra layers of protection. Commercial car insurance, if your trusty work vehicle is your sidekick on the go, this covers accidents, property damage, and even medical expenses related to business use. Commercial umbrella insurance, need an extra shield? This adds a layer of protection above your general liability insurance. It's like having a double-layered force field. Equipment breakdown insurance, for those unexpected gear malfunctions that could otherwise throw a wrench in your plans, this one's got your tools back. Hired and non-owned auto insurance, if you or your crew use personal or rented cars for work, this ensures you're covered in case of accidents. Inland marine insurance, no, we're not talking about literal marines. This covers your tools and equipment while they're in transit to your next job, keeping them safe and sound. Surety bond, sometimes, you'll need this to seal the deal, it assures your clients that you've got their back, and your workmanship is top-notch. Workers' compensation insurance, even if it's just you and your trusty wrench, some states require you to have this. It's like a healing potion for your team if they get injured on the job. Step 5. Knowing the limits, what's not covered. Alright, let's be real, not every challenge can be tackled with insurance. Earthquakes, floods, and even government seizures are a no-go. And sorry, but insurance won't help you dodge infectious diseases or deal with wrongful termination claims. For that, you'll want to look into employment practices liability insurance. Step 6. Counting the cost, how much does handyman insurance run? The million dollar question, or maybe just a couple of thousand dollars, how much does handyman insurance cost? On average, you're looking at around $2,795 per year for a policy that includes general liability insurance, commercial auto insurance, and coverage for your trusty tools. But keep in mind, your price tag depends on factors like location, the number of employees, and the coverage types you choose. Step 7. A real-life example, crunching the numbers. Let's put it into perspective with an example. Say you're a one-person show, doing carpentry, 
electrical work, and general repairs. You're located in a bustling city, with a reliable work vehicle and a solid set of tools. For a policy that's got your back, you might be looking at something like this. General liability insurance, around $500 per year. Commercial auto insurance, approximately $1,200 per year. Contractors tools and equipment coverage, roughly $1,095 per year. That brings your total to about $2,795 per year. Not bad for peace of mind, right? And there you have it, fellow handymen and women, a step-by-step -step guide on getting insurance for your handyman business right here in the United States. Remember, accidents can strike when you least expect them, but with the right insurance, you'll be ready to tackle any challenge that comes your way. So, go on, fix, build, and create, with the confidence that you're protected. One of the best platforms to get insurance for yourself or your business is Next Insurance. They offer coverage at an affordable price that is tailored to practically every industry in the USA. You can check them out with the link in the description below the video and the pinned comment as well and get a quote today. The full review of Next Insurance is also linked down in the description box. Thank you for watching this video. Please remember to like and subscribe to our channel if you love our videos.